James Lincoln, I'm a physics teacher, and today I'm going to teach you how to do experiments involving the kinetic molecular theory of gases. The first experiment I want to show you is how to measure absolute zero. I have here a copper cask which is full of trillions of air molecules buzzing all around. And they're crashing into the walls and they crash into this gauge up here which registers 20 psi. That's 20 pounds per square inch of pressure. I put it in this ice cold melting water and that's zero degrees Celsius and the pressure drops down to only 18 psi. Later I move it into this boiling hot water at 100 degrees Celsius and that raises the pressure very quickly. It raises it until it gets to a stable 24 psi. The next experiment I want to show you is this air filled syringe which is sealed. As I compress the air inside, you see it bounces back because the increased pressure here pushes back on the atmosphere and equalizes the pressure. As I add masses to the top, you'll see that the syringe drops again because I'm increasing the pressure on the syringe. In here, the molecules are getting squished and they're buzzing all around faster, hitting the walls harder just to support these masses. An increase in pressure reduces the volume. That's called Boyle's Law. Check out this apparatus. It has a variable volume of air which I can change by moving this piston up and down. I can seal it off so that by increasing the volume, I reduce the pressure as indicated by this pressure meter. I can let the air in now and then seal it again and decrease the volume and increase the pressure. The device even has a temperature gauge which lets you measure all three of the variables of the ideal gas law at the same time. Well, I hope these apparatus have been helpful. There are many experiments you can do with them and lots of variables to measure. Good luck and I'll see you next time.